Yeah, it's getting a little nautical out here, man. On the 155 foot wizard. We had a serious tide change here about an hour or two ago, and these 16 footers turned into 20, 25 footers real fast, and they're a lot sharper and a lot nastier. We need to find something to plug away on here until this drops off. Captain Keith Colburn battles a vicious swell to retrieve his soaking gear. You know, I told the guys to put some dry stuff on, gear up, because the ride won't be hellacious after that point. Now, granted, he's just starting, so I hope he can survive the job. <laughs> There's still good fishing right here. I mean, it's no 400, but maybe it's a 250 anyways. Big Rise was starting to kind of get the hang of things a little bit. Next couple strings will talk a lot. The weather's not giving him a break, but Rye just chugging right along. He seems to be doing OK. I'm just trying to survive right now. The new greenhorn seems like he's going to work out. He knows how to keep his nose down and keep working. That's about it. station. Rigel, stop trying to work, okay? Monty, have him come stand right next to you, okay? Rigel, get the f away from the rail. Now I'm down a hand. I have no idea what's going on with this kid. You know. What? All right. If we get the deck cleared, we're gonna bring him inside. Now I'm down a hand. I have no idea what's going on with this kid. You know. All right, Mouse. I'm I'm gonna get off the wheel here for a second. Meet me in the gear room. Let's see what the is going on with our crewman. Have a seat, have a seat. What's going on here, man? <laughs> okay, so. So, what happened now? I slipped. You slipped? Yeah. All right. Uh, and? That, this went in, under, and over. And that, that I'm, I'm guessing this is a regular thing because you seem to know exactly what happened immediately. Oh, my kneecap is on the side. Has this happened before? Be honest with me. It has happened before. Yeah. When I was 14, I had to get a knee replaced. Really? 
Why are you? What? Why are you out here? Why did you not alert me to this before you got took this job? Now I don't know what to do now, because I've never put a titanium knee back in place. All right. What do you do? You've had this happen before. What What do we do? I can't pop it back. So what happens? Do I have to go to town now? What do I have to do? Tell me, tell me, what happened last time? What happened last time? Explain to me. Home. I know you got sent home. Now, what I need to know is how did the captain, when you blew your knee out and you're in this thing dislocated last time, how did your captain deal with it? How did you deal with it? Did he go to town immediately? He did not. He stayed out. And how was your knee? How long was he out for? Two, three days. He was out for two or three days. And what, how was that for you? He didn't have me on deck. Well, obviously he didn't have you on deck. He can't walk. Come on, man. Let, let, let's get a, let's have a reality check here. Okay? And now I'm under an obligation to make sure that my crew is safe and okay. And you're one of my crew. Can I continue to fish or do I have to turn this boat around and go back to town. And guess what? You got seven guys on this boat right now. And Rigel's a dirty word because they just all got long shifts. Quite frankly, I feel like you've been dishonest to me and the rest of this crew and to yourself. You guys, let's get him to his bunk. Let's go ahead and get his boots off for him and everything, all right? Kid has got me pissed off. This is not, he doesn't happen once. This is an ongoing thing. We are, we're, we're barely into this trip and we're shorthanded. Barely getting started and we just went a man down. <laughs> yeah, damn it, right. Consider going to the island? Well, we can't go now. We got northerly 45, man. We'll be a brick ice by the time we get there. I can't believe this. This is, I mean, this is like a, this is like some kind of nightmare. You, you hope you wake up from sometimes. Trade it down, man. We trade it down.